Welcome back everyone for the next part of Opus Echo Star Song. In the last part, we were able to escape the pirates, got the warrant, case still hurt, and now we finally reach the doctor. But before we get him treated, let us just quickly check out the region around here about the Lumen War Relief Foundation. Most of Guifang's residents were crippled veterans who were abandoned after the war. They set up the foundation, hoping to provide a place for those who had nowhere to go. That is, that's actually really nice. They hate outsiders, especially those looking for a lumen. After all, they are the one who started the damn war. They are the one who hurted them in the first place, right? You, from, po uh, from Potesis Energy. Our scrapers here are itchy to get to work. The shipment of excavation arms, uh, excavation arms here yet or what? Ah, uh, wait, what? Required excavation arms shipment container. Oh no, no, I don't have that yet. So I need to check those locations in order to do some quests. So huh? good to know. But no, no, I don't have that. Don't waste my time, kids. He shoots you away after realizing he mistook us for someone else. Oh, we could have made a deal here. Okay, I need to remember that. Then we also have Mirian Square, Helios. After space burial was banned by United Mining, Mirian's followers used Asteroid's crater, worked with the craving of Helios instead. The name of the disease would have been carved along the walls of each crater, as the asteroids were considered home to them. Hey you there, young man! This is a place for remember uh, <laughs> remembrance. If you have no business here, please be on your way. If you are low on credits, we got plenty of work, but please don't disturb the solemnity of this place. True, true, I shouldn't, I shouldn't just uh, play around there. Then we also have War Orphanage. The Hedge. Children who lost their family to the war ended up in places like this. The children were often forced into labor, and the place was frequent by human traffickers. There was no warmth to be found here. Remy abhorred this place. Miriam Neverlasting, may Helios' blessing be upon you. You're a cave runner, aren't you? Please, could you spare some credits? Ida. We must help these children. <sighs> Just ignore them. Kids like them are everywhere in the peaks. Any credits to give them will just go straight to their boss. That is true. But then again, they are children. Pika should look after oneself, right? Expend United Mining credits. If it's a camp. Then so be it. True, the money is probably going to go to the boss right away. But it is a children. Or rather, it is a child. <sighs> you know what? Take it. I mean, we still have 2000, it's alright. As soon as the credit was transferred, the child broke into laughter. Mama said to give this to any runner that helps us. They smile as one of them handed me something. Obtained a charm. Oh, nice! Presido charm. Countless runners have sometimes uh, something like this hanging on them at all times. They pray to the guardian of asteroids, Parasido, imploring the earth gods to open the path for them so that they might find the cave of riches. Hey, who knows? Maybe that's going to give us luck, right? Now, without further ado, let us go to the base. Members of the association came from all the backgrounds, but most were veterans of war. The amount of lumen intel in their hands came only second to United Mining. Okay. <sighs> Sorry, I was only able to give him emergency treatment. His injuries are worse than I expected. Wait, how bad is it? So, will Kay... Well, he'll be able to walk, but the hyper travel has caused internal injuries, which needs to be examined further. Oh, I knew it, we shouldn't have went for that. Unfortunately, 
There were some gang fights over at the mining dispute last week. So I loaned medical supplies and prothesis. That's bad. It's like at least a standard week for new supplies to reach this rural station. You can get immediate treatment at Ironwind Central Hospital if you're willing to risk crossing the asteroid belt. Or you can just sit and wait. There isn't much of a choice. But can he last that long? Worst case scenario, he ended up he ends up with a prophesis. Plenty of veterans here get by in wheelchairs. I'm sure he'll get used to it. And forgive me, but for an ocean warrior, that would be no different from that. And who's this man, Ida? I'm... I was speaking to Ida, young man. He and his injured man saved my life. Always getting yourself in trouble, just like your master. You, go out. I need to speak with Ida. I wish to stay beside Kay. If you want to save him, leave now. To share. He'll be fine, Jim. Dr. Rushwell is a close friend. So, do we have other options? So, was that your lover? What? What? <laughs> of course not! <laughs> um, that's what I thought, Ida. I've told you many times, you need to stop searching for Lumen Caves. Whew! I'm not here to talk about this doctor. If you keep this up, you're going to get your... Uh, get you and your crew killed one day. What would your master think of me if I allowed this to happen? Hmm. Let me join the Loom Association, Doctor. Give it up, Ida. And give me back Red Shanta's military configurations. You shouldn't even be flying a military vessel. Then at least help us. Don't be stubborn like your master, Ida. Take a look at these injuries. Your decision to enter hyper travel was on has only made them worse. Fine, I'll figure it out myself. Hey. Hey! Goodbye. Alright, fine! There's another option as well. Oh, what is it? <sighs> Nothing ever changed their mind, does it? Why are you two always like this? Wait for my message. I will send you the details. So there are other options. Stay out of trouble, will you? Not so fast. If you're going to go cave running, at least resupply your ship, okay? Yeah, yeah, I only have two shield plates left. Uh, let me buy. So how do I fix that? Do I need to buy that? Yeah, that, yeah. Armor plates. Reactivate armor plates that self-destruct when hit with, to prevent damage. All models available, select the model that uh, writes for you. Please. You want to buy some more? I will, ch I will charge you 800 for 8 plates. Try to stock up when you can. Yes, yes, I need that. Then I would also like to have some fuel. You want to pick up some? I'll charge you 500. Okay, that's... Oh, I'm running out. I should probably save that. What's this? I mean, I do need Explorer's Kit in order to uh, exaggerate. But I still have four, so that should be fine. The most important things is fuel and armor, I would say. Luminin coating. Trash mountain recycled product. Wanna be an asteroid belt hero? Highly durable against attacks. Takes effect in just half a standard hour. And effectively enhances the vessel's armor. Oh, does it now, huh? Can't really buy that yet, though. What's this? Damaged Lumen Metal Plate. Salvage from the Lumina Association Cave with a Lumen Alloy density of 0.34%. It can be used to enhance your armor and is perfect for cave exploration modification. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna keep those two in mind. But that would be it. So what do you want? Can I sell something? No? Too bad. Okay then, I guess we are on our way then. Watch out for yourself. Lumen seeking vessels have a high fuel capacity, but they are light on armor. Many residents of the asteroid belt were displaced by the United Mine uh, displaced by United Mining. Even if there wasn't a bounty on you, 
people won't be too happy to see a witch ship, you know. Ah, good to know. Thanks for the hint. Okay, question though. I'm supposed to go outside to get the, the message, right? I guess. Because I have no idea where we're supposed to go. So, don't tell anyone I did this for you. Okay. Either this is your only option. Assuming you can find a cave. I've attached direction to a nearby Lumen cave rec registered under the association. The place produces rare medical herbs. Since you are a red pupil, you should be familiar with Lumen plants. Find me a handful of Lyra sesame. Is what, is, what is this? It's an exceptionally rare plant that can repair, uh, repair cellular damage. Bring it back with the, with the injured man and I'll figure something out. To be clear, I shouldn't be giving this out to non-associated members, even if you're a Red's ado adopted daughter. Dr. Russell, Lumen Association, head of Griffon Branch. I'm gonna get that. Either said that during the years they spent searching for a master, the doctor always watched out over them. <sighs> Doc's the same as always. Assuming we can find the cave, huh? <laughs> she particularly gave us the location. Get ready, Remy. Hmm. Still having some doubts? Is your throat alright? Huh? Why worry? I have you and Red Shampa to help me. Can you really locate Lumen Caves? With just a vague sense uh, of direction? Not for normal people, but a witch can. Uh-huh. What? You don't like my voice? Too late. So you really are a witch. Just like Kay said. You were a human raider? That's a mean way to say. <laughs> Disqualified. 103, 108, 130. These members will be removed from the level uh, from level 5 as of today, revoking the witch candidacy. Don't be disheartened, 108. Even at level 4, you will still be allowed to engage in Tower's affair. After two years, this is how she ended up? And I thought she was gifted. Say it's incurable. How can we deteriorate as she grows older? Eventually, she will no longer be able to make a sound with our singing techniques. She's coming. Why should I? She used to act like she was so much smaller than us. Hey, liar! I thought you said you could handle anything. What are you to do now, huh? You still think you can make it to our level? Hey! Be quiet during the ritual! A witch who can't sing! <laughs> Silence! There will be no such behaviors in the tower! You think you're so smart, but you'll never be a witch! Oh shoot. Was that her past? Yes, but I re would prefer to be called a witch, not a human radar, okay? The poor girl. So that is why she had that uh, transmitter that also improves her vocal cords. That's good to know. So let's see. We need to find the Lumen Cave. If we're... Oh wait! This game has skits? Like a tail? Oh! Oh! I need to watch out for that! <laughs> if we're going to bring some Lyra Chrysalia back to... Ah, shoot! I could place Apex. Uh, if we bring some Lyra Cresselia back to Dr. Russell, she'll be able to treat case wounds. So, okay. Or is that just a reminder? Yeah, that's, I guess that's just a reminder then. Okay, if that is the case, let me just quickly see. Where is this cave? It is towards the right of us. But... Guess I need to go over here then, huh? Yeah, it should be here. Abandoned cave signal. 
any further than that would be troublesome with our fuel count since I also need to come back in order to get do we even <laughs> make enough money to uh, get the, the fuel back oh, I hope okay let's just give it a try abandoned cave signal analyze please this cave was severely damaged during the war. Access is restricted for an indefinite period of time. Lumen Association. Looks promising. Let's give it a try. And we, we still have seven fuel. As long as I have enough to backtrack, it's fine. I'm sorry, I shouldn't have insisted on coming to Thousand Peaks. This place is not meant for us. Sir. We investigated every solar system that allowed private ownership of Lumen Capes and listened to the sound of each system star. You chose Thousand Peak. But what if I made a mistake? A leader should not easily doubt their own decision. The stars must have a reason for you, uh, must have a reason for telling you where to go. We East Oceaners are seekers of Lumen. Wherever it is, there will be our people. If the star song of a thousand peak is the one you cannot forget, then this is where your faded lumen lies. Faded lumen? Find the lumen, young master, and bring prosperity to the clan. Hmm. At the beginning of our thousand peaks adventure, Kay and I had no choice but to run around scavenging whatever we could find. He would go on about the history of Lumen War, and those thousand peaks was torn apart by seven factions. So I guess we're going to explore this. A uh, hybrid Luminum, Lumino charts. Is that good? A hard Luminum ore found in the depths of a cave varies so much in purity and the sound frequency it produces that it is difficult to use as industrial fuel. Instead, since Lumen is worshipped by the people, it tends to be used for artistic, yeah, artistic and ceremonial purpose. That restocked my fuel! That is very promising! Let me see more! Okay! Doesn't really seem like I could do anything else around here, but I am able to restock here. That's good to know. So, we should be close. We are? Entering identification and password. Permission verified. QBC Opal 03. Lumen Seeking Vessel. Bioamplifier Scanner Activated. Synchronization subject, Ida Luna. Vocal tuning complete. Initiating Lumen Resource Scan. <laughs> what now? Resource Scan. LB. Activating Lumen Resource Scan. What is that? Suspending Star Song identified. Are you singing? Oh. Sing softly. Find the star song that resonates with my voice. You still have to stick to overlap Ida's voice with the star song and then press A once you hit the resonation. So I guess here? The song is too distant. Try resonating it to bring it to the center of the consciousness. That's... Kind of hard. Wait, let me make that a bit louder for myself. Try bringing the star song to the center. Like 
this. Oh, 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 I got it. I got it. Hello there. Okay, that's a bit tricky. But, uh, understandable. Grandiose witch star song. Although Ida said her throat was damaged and that she struggles with certain vocal techniques, this star song was unlike the one I recorded when we first met. It was grandiose and bright, as if she was conjuring myths throughout an ancient hymn. Nice. Witch of star song analysis complete. Setting navigation to origin of star song. Great! It is right at the center from the looks of it. Which means I can easily reach it, right? Only one fuel. Great! And what is that icon? Primordial cave signal. Let's analyze that. The cave was discovered by the Roland family in 8529 of the Galactic Calendar, currently supervised by the Human Association. It is restricted to mining and Mirian civilization research. Signal source, Lumen Association. Well then, don't mind if I do, I would say. This is it! This is the place! We made it! You... Shouldn't you be happy, Noble? Um, thanks. I guess it's the first time uh, we had such an easy time finding a cave, huh? Now it's your turn. I'm not good at cave running. Take this with you. What is this? My voice. I'm an East Ocean runner. We have our own way of producing sounds. I heard you use Eddie's voice to escape the prison. But that was different! <laughs> Just take it as a backup, for the sake of your companions, okay? Yeah. Yeah, don't, don't give her that look. You know that you need it. <laughs> and take this as well. You're unfamiliar with human plants, are you? These things, Lyra, Chrysami, uh, and such. This eco scanner will help you identify your plants that grow in caves. I hope Kay gets treated soon. Thank you for all of this. Not at all. I'm already familiar with these plants, and the ship has more than enough storage space. If you bring back any extra plants, we can sell them for a decent price, yes! Obtain the eco scanner. That, that's all that I needed to know. I'm going to grab everything that's inside. Ida's knowledge of lumen plants far surpasses my imagination. Once he, uh, once he even asked me to take the ego scanner and test her. It could identify hundreds of plants. But she would just say, eh, it's basic witch knowledge. <laughs> okay. Of all the caves I've encountered, perhaps this one is the hardest to forget. Why is that? Guess we're going to see that soon, huh? Lumen Cave, Asteroid 819. Kay, June, can you two hear me? Wait, Kay is coming along? We can hear you clearly. Remy and I will be on standby. Let us know if you need any help. Are you really sure, Kay? You shouldn't have come with me, Kay. It is my job to protect you from harm, sir. But you can barely move, Kay! How are you supposed to protect me like this? Get back to the ship! It's fine. I'm feeling better already. The doctor had a bad attitude, but she's good at what she does. See? I can walk just fine. You know, Kay, you could just rest and maybe don't worsen your injuries, huh? Stop pushing yourself! You need my help, sir. Are you so sure about that? I, I can totally do this on my own, Kay. Look, I'm already backtracking just to see that I don't miss anything. Because the left side and all, you know? Didn't really... There was, no, there was nothing over there. Kay? Kay, where are you? Why are you so fast? I thought you were injured! Is this a uh, Lira Sesami? Maybe. No. Potted Lilax. Whenever the wind blows, the tiny bits of Numenite 
in the stem cracks and filters away as the rest of the flowers wilters. Given that it uses, uh, it uses a farewell flower, the demeanor for it on the market is rather large. That is how Ida explained it to me. Huh. Ida said they grow closer to the center of the asteroid. This may not be so easy. Wait. So that means if I see flowers, I should always check them out in order to grab them. That is good to know. I need all the resources. Give me another one, please. And what do we have here? The Lumen Cave is only open to cave runners with an academic permission. Uh huh. Okay, are you really sure you're fine? You're coughing quite a lot. Can't really talk to you. Okay, let's open. Let's open up the cave, I would say. After synchronizing again, I see. Okay, first and foremost, really loud. Need to hear this. So if I got that right from the last time, I just need to move it to this. And it didn't work. Unless, of course, maybe I'm too loud. Wasn't it like that? Okay, maybe I didn't understand this principle, huh? Maybe this? No, 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 no. No, I, I have the feeling the lines are supposed to align. Maybe this? Ah, okay! It was the volume this time. Not really sure what I did, but I did it. <laughs> See? I can open the gate myself. Just takes a while. <laughs> yes, well done, sir. <laughs> I still need to work on that. <laughs> Sorry, Kay. <laughs> oh, every time I think I understand it, it just doesn't work. Well, not completely, at least. Okay. So... Are we already deep inside? Where's the flower that I need? Looks like the song pipes were destroyed by ve uh, vegetation. We need to look around for some other way into the shrine. I told you not to worry. Let me handle this. Hey, Sirius, you are hurt. You are really hurt. Here, let me grab this flower really quickly. Since we need supplies and all. Wait, can we go down here? No. They, well, there are stairs, that's for sure, but I can't really do anything with that. Get all the flowers on the way. Is there anything else around here? Oh, there's something. It's completely destroyed. Well, it's not really destroyed, it's just covered in roots, right? Okay, do you have something to say about that? No? Okay, fine. Well, if that's the case, let me just go forward and see if uh, by any chance we can find something else. Doesn't really look like it. Oh wait, there's another gate. Wait. Always need to make double sure that I don't miss something. But seems to be fine, okay. Well, let's open up this gate then. Why isn't Ida's voice working? The star song came from what she heard a thousand of kilometers away. Any flaw in her singing could render it useless. How do we fix that? Should I ask Ida for help now? She can record any other star song here, right? Experiment runner, don't need to rely on witches. Come with me. This is an abundant, abundant cave. Students shouldn't be hard to find. And what are you looking for? There's a pool of luminite that seeps from the ground. It may not be as pure, but it should be enough for a decent performance to open the gate. Stick your synthesizer in and see what, what it samples. Meaning I need to climb down here. Grab another flower on the way. And let's give it a try. Is that how I record music then? Deep star song. Unlike Ida's voice, the star song that came through the cave was deep and resounding. While the vibration of liquid that travels into my hand felt ancient and full of sorrow, 
However, the sound quality was somewhat choppy. Choppy? See, you didn't see need a witch for this. Try performing with that sample. Really hope that's going to work. But then again, I kind of like Ida's voice over some run uh, random water. But oh well. Deep Star Song. Let's see. Oh, I need to. Do, oh, I need to do this again. Okay, this time. This time for sure. I'm not gonna fail. But first and foremost, align the lines, right? Line the lines. Tune the lines. There we go. Okay, fine. It worked. So by turning down the volume, it increases the other volume. <laughs> You're getting better at this, young master. Yeah, yeah, I'm working hard, Kay. I'm working hard. <laughs> ah. So, is that another one of those air streams? What is this? Uh, Luminum, was it? Right? The fluid form turns into gas or something? Oh, I remember when I first started training you. You have grown a lot. Now's not the time. So how do we get past this? Relax. There's a leakage in the pipe. Just cut off the luminant. So just uh, Does it matter which song? I guess then I'm going to use the Witcher Star song. Oh, never mind. Never mind. I guess I still need to rely on the deep song, huh? Right? Yes. Okay. Not bad for your second cave run. <sighs> you worry too much. So, let's see. Is there anything else that I need to fix? <laughs> Have you found something? It looks like something from the from East Ocean. Huh. Must have been left by some other runner. Don't worry about it. The killer charm. Even though oceaners were known to go where the, the lumen was, and for many generations, settling in other solar system, at the time I didn't understand what this charm really represents. Huh. Well, at the very least, we have that now. So, from the looks of it, it seems like we need to climb upwards. Hey, can you make that? I mean, you are still hurt. Looks like this is as far as I can go. Don't try to follow me, okay? Go back to the ship. Of course, I'm not gonna climb that. He's just going to sit, huh? What are you doing? I sent you back to the ship. Then come back. No need. I carry you if you can't walk. Good lumens, give me a break. Do you have to follow me around? Hey, you are following me around and you're injured! Are you two alright? Your signals aren't moving. Hey witch, each crew member has a vital tracker, right? Tell him how my vital looks right now. Um, it looks like you recovered 7.2 percentage point since you left the ship. Good Lumen, I didn't know Caves can heal like that. That's all I need to know. Thanks. Stop joking around. Remember what I always say, sir. Think before you act. Take one step at a time, and one day you will be a clan master. Where are you going with this? Hmm. What are you doing? Give me your hand. This isn't the time for that. By the honor of the Lee clan. Oh, don't bring that up now. By the honor of the Lee clan. Fine. I, Kay Volans, hereby swear to protect June with my life. I shall not waver in my duty and will forever be his shield. Even if you're injured. Go back to the ship now. Don't push yourself too hard. Let me know when you need help. You're the one pushing yourself. I only wish I could see you reach the shrine. It's the first... It's the first ruin, right? The actual cave run experience. Alright, I'm heading back. 
Lie down as soon as you get back, okay? Okay. No, I'm serious, okay? Go back. Don't push yourself too hard. Think before you act. I'm serious, okay? Okay, then. Let's be off. I still need to climb quite a bit. But also keeping in mind that I need to grab some flowers on the way. Since we still... It has been an honor to train you, young master. Go back to ship! Seriously, Kay? Just go back to the ship! Okay, so I need to activate this. Can't move. Oh, wait. Wait, wait. What are you doing? Oh, I can't move from the spot. Ah, I see. But how am I supposed to activate my, my thing? If you don't move to the spot. Was this a Yeah, I don't know why, but somehow he was a little bit stuck over there. Huh, oh well. Wait, I can't activate this? There's no luminant involved. I need to I need some way to fix this. Yeah, I see. So that is the gate that I need to open. I need to use that lumen. Meaning I need to go further to the right and see if I can by any chance uh, fix that, huh? Is it a Steve song again? Yeah. But I need to resonate again. A little bit further. There we go. See? See? I'm getting the hang of it. It just took a while. <laughs> so... That should fix the transportation chamber. Water wind, uh, water winds the wind, and wind will birth a star sun. Lumen is particularly stable and is not affected by increased heat. However, it does react to a certain frequency, which converts it from liquid to gas, while em uh, emitting a resounding below. This peculiar process is known as transformation, and the sound is referred to uh, is referring to a star song. Okay. So now I need to activate that. I guess with the deep song as well. Do I need to resonate that as well? Doesn't really seem like it. Great! So. Mirian Valve. The inscription on Mirian Valves are lit, uh, like small Mirian gates. They are used to direct the flow of lumen. In the whole contraption they are part of are known as lumen transformation engines. I get more and more memories from this, huh? I guess in the pirate case we didn't really have the time to explain those things. So, flower. Snowy sun herb. It is said that the gods would inhale lumen to extend their lives. That's backed by science, you know? Ida told me how the Lumen plants found in Thousand Peaks were used for various of medical purpose. Huh, good to know. So let me grab this one over well. I need all the plants around here after all. Do you need to go to the left side, to the right side? I kind of want to go to the wrong side first, you know. And I went to the right side. Okay, we need to go to the left. To the left. Left side. Left side! Don't you dare, June! Okay, <laughs> this place is amazing! What are. Uh, what? Are there ancient spirits? Stop joking! Tell me what you see. I'm not sure how to describe it. I see light everywhere. That's the lumen. Sounds like you've reached the deepest part of the shrine. Mirian god, Prime Helios. In Mirian mythology, Helios was the remaining star stuff left over from Ignis' fierce creation of the world. A yeah, fiery creation of the world. Having inherited some of Ignis' power, he is second only to Ignis, the god of gods. Can I move? Yes. Okay. Go to the left. Go to the left. We need to inspect flowers. Just in case. Need all the money around here. Okay, what do we have here? The Lumen Cave was discovered by the Rodin family. 
The earliest pioneer of Thousand Peaks, it has since been donated to a academic research. I guess that's supposed to be a, a claim sign, something like a flag. This cave is preserved by the Lumen Association. Runners are advised to conduct own, uh, oneself in accordance with the regulations. I see, I see. And I'm only here to get some small stuff, so I, I'm sure they don't mind. Two orbits, ten circles, thirty gradients. May Helios' blessing be upon all. This inscription was erected to commemorate his sacred birth. So this is a Mirian shrine. Seems like it. Mural Helios Descent. One orbit, five circles, three gradients. An illustration. This mural depicts how Helios driven with Ignis, uh, drifted with Ignis for eons, and when he heard that the gods were constantly tormented by their inner flames, they decided to help them use the Lumen's energy and descend from the heavens. Oh, he wanted to help them so they don't get consumed by their own flames. That's nice. Wait. Can't grab those flowers, huh? But I guess that is the main flower that we're supposed to grab. So we get that really quickly. Lyra Kesami. Lumen plants are primarily used for medical purpose. Most commonly in emergency military situations. A few even have the ability to repair cellular damage like this one. It's no wonder what in Mirian mythology there are countless stories of the pursuit of immortal lives. Okay, do you hear me? Calm down, I hear you. I found it. Not bad. Try getting a sample as well. The cave looks well preserved. You're in the heart of the temple, where the Luminite is at its purest. So you should be able to get a perfect star song. Don't step into it though. I won't be able to save you if you lose consciousness. Oh, is it poisonous? Are you thinking about it? Are you back on the ship? I don't hear any sound of the engine. I'm at the landing entrance. Focus on your task. Somehow I have the feeling he's just still sitting on that one spot. I should go back check on him, but then again, I still need to get this uh, star song sample. So uh, give me a second. Lumen Cave, 819, Rodin, perfect star song. The ripples of the Luminoid Cave, a uh, Luminite gave of brilliant ice blue rays of light, proved that the cave was of immense value. Ah, cool. Got it. Go, oh, God. Huh? Was that the Lumen's consciousness? I should be careful not to get pulled in. They have a consciousness? Hey, he kept his word. He is at the entrance. Okay, I'm coming back. Let's go back to the ship. Do you hear me? What happened to the signal? Kay! Ida, are you able to reach Kay? I haven't heard anything from him. That's weird. Wait, something is not right. Our system just picked up on the uh, on the heat signal of another engine in the vicinity. Wait, what do you mean? She means there might be another ship nearby. And it's probably not from Thousand Peaks. The heat pattern looks similar to your ship. Oh, no. There's someone else in the cave. Kay, do you hear me? Alina must learn to remain calm, your master. How do you turn this off? Kay! Nice and quiet. How did the captain die? Lumen War. Killed in the chaos of battle. 
We suspect it was someone from the clan, as always. After all, he was the seventh son of uh, son's guardian. They never had much power. To serve an honest man. Is that too much to ask? It's best not to dwell on such things. You should think about where you will go from here. What's wrong with this clan? And it's endless power game! I doubt they'll be running. They'll be around for long. Better find another house to serve while you can. What about the sixth son? He seems decent enough. After everything the captain did for us? How could you dishonor him like that? Wake up, Kane. There's no point going on about honor when our master is gone. Good Lumen. What are you doing? Let go. Who is this kid? But Tyrant's mercy. He's the eighth son. Don't you know him? Go away. I'm tired of all your sons. Show some kindness. The eighth house was born as uh, of peasantry and were defenseless when they lost the clan master's affection. After the mother passed, everyone in the house abandoned the child. Now he comes here every day to talk to her. Let go of me. Don't cry. I wasn't crying. My mother passed away. I didn't, I didn't cry, cry. because he said the Lee clan must never cry. So don't cry. I take care of you. What is this kid blabbering about? I wasn't blabbering. I was talking about my mother. He gets really something. Why don't you serve him instead? Only the helpless cry. I said I wasn't crying. But time's mercy. Don't you worry. Because one day, I will become the clan master and protect you from harm. You mind taking him away? Why is the fun? Hey kid, who taught you to say that? You should be careful who's around when you say something like that. My mother? Oh, it said so. And what did she tell you? She taught me to become the clan master so that I can protect everyone. Mother wanted to protect others? Yes, she wanted to protect people like her. Who are people like her? People who cry? People who are helpless? People like you, mister? I wasn't. But I will protect you. Mother said a true clan master must watch over everyone, so no one ever has to suffer like her. I, Kay Volans, will always be your guardian, young master. They'd be worried, you know, for going offline like that. Show yourself! Such a shame. I thought you would know what to do when you saw my warning. Don't waste your time. I would never betray him. As long as, I, as I'm here, no one can touch him. <sighs> you two are quite popular. Even a place like this has bounties on you. Leave now, and I'll let you live. Why defend him? The clan lost its cave because of the boy. He risked his life to fight for your rights, you worthless bastards. And he disgraced the clan by insulting the Emperor. Perhaps I can atone for his sins by offering his head. He will redeem himself when he brings back more caves. Such loyalty, Kay. But you know how we deal with Excite members. Shut up! Your pretty power game will be the end of our clan. Reply. Do you hear me? Case, why do sense are dropping? 
Something is wrong. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. That is really bad. Okay, you can't just do this. What is happening? Okay. Oh, and we're so far inside of the asteroid. This is going to take forever to reach him. Oh, my freaking god. Come on, come on, come on. No, wait. I need to climb down here. Climb down. Hurry, June. His vitals are becoming unstable. Oh, I guess he's got already shot or something. Come on. <laughs> he's right over there. He loses his signal. It was right near the landing entrance. I'm coming already. God damn it. I should have stayed at the ship. Oh god, he's no longer- Oh my god, Kay! Why would there be a ship with the same heat pattern as Kuhn? Kay, do you hear me? Still not no sign. That's bad. Really bad. Anywhere? I don't see him. Oh shoot. Kay! Sir? Shoot. Oh my god. Did it get worse? What happened? <sighs> Just had a fight. It's nothing. Who did this? It's fine. We just need to bring you back to the ship. Slow down, damn it. Don't touch the wound. Ida, Kay's having the injured. We need emergency treatment. How did this happen? I'm coming down. Stay where you are. It's too late. Listen, June. It was an assassin from the clan. Probably working from the third, or maybe the fifth son. What? I drove him off, but you will have to keep an eye out. I wasn't expecting them to follow us all the way here. It must have been a bounty. Shoot. The lumens. I can't see anymore. Don't talk! We're heading back to the ship! Oh my god. Can you walk? Yeah, just take it slow. I'm, I'm taking it extra slow, okay? Extra, extra slow. This is embarrassing. What kind of guardian gets carried? Stop talking! Remember, June. Think before you act. Yes? And don't forget what you said. That you'll protect us from harm. Bring back Luhrman. I become a worthy clan master. Yes. And also... STOP TALKING! Ah, oh, shoot. Also... I SAID STOP! The clean man must never cry. I... Those were your words. Yes. Oh, shoot. Oh no. Okay. Hey. Wake up. <laughs> <laughs>